time passes, civilization grows, technology and innovation in the hands of humanity, knowledge explodes, meet us touch of development, it is walled a global village. transition, forces of change create a gap, people's expectation yet to be fully satisfied, the need for a social institution with provision of quality education emerged. Pumahati, the gateway of northeast India, historically known as Prankratishpura, is situated on the bank of the mighty river Brahmaputra. The Pine Water Run, which all the eight states of Northeast with cultural and ethnic diversities cluster. At about 25 kilometers from the center of Guwahati stands a unique architectural campus having the blend of tradition and modernity. Surrounded by an amazing landscape, the people here enjoy the beauty of nature. Virijananda Chaudhary Institute of Management and Technology came up as the first private technical institute in northeastern India with the vision to produce competent, disciplined, and quality engineers and administrators having the drive, skill, and confidence to become the pioneers of tomorrow. Endowed with special faculty, management, and innovation technology, it has been imparting knowledge and skills to the student community since inception. GIMT has an intake capacity of more than 700 students every year spread over different departments such as mechanical engineering, civil engineering, electrical engineering, as well as computer science and engineering, information technology, applied electronics and instrumentation, and electronics and communication engineering for undergraduation, as well as computer science and engineering, instrumentation and control engineering, electronics and communication engineering for post-graduation. Also, Master of Computer Sciences and Master of Business Administration courses are offered at GIMT. All departments are equipped with adequate number of teaching and supporting staff, as well as well equipped library and laboratory facilities. The very prestigious National Board of Accreditation MBA, granted approval to GIMT in July 2016 for all the five engineering branches. GIMT adds to its proud color badges of being professional members of societies like the Indian Society of Technical Education and Instrument Society of India, Bangalore. I have worked in government engineering colleges for 34 years. I have found this institute is one of the best institutes in the Northeast region because the institute has got 122 faculty members, 39 technical staff, 33 invited research person from industry and 149 supporting staff. 62 well equipped laboratories, one dental laboratory. Our aim is to promote our institute in one of the pioneer institutes of the country. Yes. I wish to stay in Assam. There are many more universities too, but GIMT is one of the oldest and the most respected among all of them. That's why I chose GIMT. As compared to the other colleges of this region, it has very good infrastructure and facilities. GIMT is one of the oldest private colleges of the region and now it has reached great heights. 
as a placement coordinator, I am pleased to announce that many companies have come to this college in previous years and this year too. For example, Jaloni, then previously LNT Infotech has come and many more companies are coming and more than 40 students have been selected in the last month and more companies are yet to come so I am looking forward to it. In its effort at expansion and diversification, GIM did start its sketchbook chapter in the year 2011. The historic and cultural capital of Assam, Tejpur is the fifth largest city of the state. It has been ranked as the cleanest city of India. Opening of the Tejpur chapter opened hopes for the student community of Upper Assam and the other states like Arunachal Pradesh and Nagaland to get world-class education at their doorstep. Girijananda Institute of Management and Technology Tejpur was set up in the year 2011 and the PPP mode by Simanta Sankar Academy and Gokta of Assam. We are offering here three BTEC courses, namely Civil, Mechanical and Electrical and currently about 450 plus students are studying in our college. We are ably supported with the qualified faculty members of 80 in numbers. And as a principal, I feel very proud to inform that our students have done very well in the university level examination. Last year, one of our students had become the university topper. And this year also, we have one student who has become second topper in the university. Also individually in the department of mechanical and electrical also, the toppers are from our college. GIMT has grown from strength to strength for these years because while giving importance for world-class education, it maintains a low fee structure compared to other private institutions of the country. GIMT Tejpur reserves 18% of its seats under PPP mode for students securing government quota from C-level exams, which allows the student to pay the fees according to government fee structure. Due to its emphasis on proper teacher-student ratio, the teaching staff can afford to give personal attention to the students. A glimpse of the phases of development reveals a glorious past of GIMT. The architect of GIMT embarked upon establishing educational institution in the year 1992 through creation of Sri Manta Shankar Academy, the first private junior college in Assam. They then went on to establish the school, SSA Dispur, in 1995. Armed with the confidence of the bosses, Sri Manta Shankar Academy Society, with AICTA's approval, initiated the establishment of GIMT. Since inception, the road was not smooth. There was a phase of struggle and achievement. As it is said, straight roads lead to improvement. Crooked roads without improvement is a world of a genius. A humble attempt at diversification is initiated through the establishment of Great General Institute of Pharmaceutical Sciences, or GIBS, which is the first private pharmaceutical institute in the northeastern region. Girijaranda Chaudhary Institute of Pharmaceutical Science started in 2007, the first self-financing institution in the state of Assam, which offering both B Farm, M Farm, and PhD in pharmacy. We believe the quality education in the field of pharmacy. From the beginning, we are having the all infrastructure, including all type of facility that, as per the guideline of Pharmacy Council of India and All India Council for technical education. Management of GIMT is aware of its surroundings. It is an institution not of individuals but of the society. GIMT is accepted by the society because of its perseverance to involve the society in institution building. It has embarked upon CSR activities and as a part of it created model village at Garbhanga. GIMT is a bridge between the government and the people. It could create the bridge where the lame can hobble and the blind can rope off its way. Conducted awareness program in villages, developed cremation ground, executed vocational training for the people having latent faculties. Most of us, we are indulged 
in a previous project. Me and some of my friends are currently working on a project on Swachh Bharat. We have developed an app called Cleanage app that is available in the Google app. You have to upload the area of the filth image so that the students belonging to any college or group of volunteers come and, work and on go it. and work on it. GLM the campaign, with its proper provisions, possesses the capacity to accommodate the pressure of students while providing healthy food. Proper provision is made for security and communication network. Transport facilities at subsidized rates for off-campus students are also available. The environment demands activeness and creativity. GLMT encourages its students to excel not only at the course subjects but also in other co curricular activities. So apart from uh, studies, we also encourage our students in various co-curricular activities by getting ourselves involved in the process and the festival season is already approaching and we are very pumped up in the process and we are really excited for it. The NCD organizes several events to boost the spirits of the students. Major festivals celebrated include Euphism and Jihad to Guwahati and and a bond cooler at Jihad to invite students and participants from all over the region. The events like National Science Day, Security Day, Engineers Day, Fongrids Day, creation between the people inside and outside the GRP campus. I am a professional in Badminton. I have a lot of colleagues in the tournament. I have achieved so I have a lot of faculties, both health work, fun set for them, and hard set for some of the health work. Yes, after 25 years of struggle and success, we have come to this point to be proud to say that we are the pathfinder for education sector, not only for Assam and Northeast, even for India also. Since the world has become a village, after getting the NBA accreditation, which is based on Washington Accord and which is recognized by more than 100 countries, now we are an international peer in education. The institute beholds the name and fame of being one of the finest technical institutes of the country. It has achieved a lot in its 10 years of life and thus promises much more to the people of the region. to the Tactical Institute for Engineering, from Engineering Institute to touching the horizon of management, venturing into CSR, pharmacy judo, vocational education, training and research, GNOMT is making a significant impact towards the upliftment of society. Time will pass on and on. The virtuous cycle of growth and development, as well as the urge to strive for excellence for GNOMT, will continue.